Maybe not all the laws of physics obey the conservation of parity. Maybe there's an exception. Okay. We start getting these weird experiments from um, Otto Laporte. He's a student of Sommerfeld. He showed in experiments with iron, you have transitions between energy levels yes. of an atom. The electron is in some energy state and then it goes to another energy state. And, and they're discrete. Yeah, and they're discrete. And when that transition happens, it lets out light. And by measuring the light, you can tell what kind of transition that happened. Yes. Well, he found that there's certain transitions that never happen. Okay. Okay. If the electron is in some state, it's never going to go to some of these other states. Okay. And Eugene Wigner created these things called selection rules. Okay. Turns out that atoms have different two kinds of energy levels. There's one that has even parity, which means that if I flip the coordinates, it's, it's the same. same. That's the one. Like if it's symmetric about the y-axis, right? Yes. And if I flip, it's like the Taj Mahal. Yes. And then there's another one where if I flip the parity, it's going to be the negative of that. Yes. It's like it's like a flippingness of the Taj Mahal. Okay. Yes. But there's one state that looks like the Taj Mahal, and then there's another state that looks exactly the opposite. Yes. Okay. Yes. And what he found was that when these electrons switch energy levels, they have to conserve parity. Okay. okay. One of them is even. The other one is odd. You can assign them numbers yes. that are even and odd. And the total parity before has to equal the total, total parity, parity after. after. And everybody liked it, right? It's like, okay, it's like intuitive, right? If conservation of parity mm -hmm. yes. comes from Noether's theorem. Yes. So it's all nice. It's all tracking. Uh, it's all tracking. The universe, the universe can't distinguish between left and right. We're in a nice universe that's just agnostic about what is left and right. It doesn't care. Okay, then comes the puzzle of the theta and the tau. Okay, these are mesons. They found two particles, the theta and the tau. Okay, and they were same, the same in every regard. Okay, mm. they had the same mass, they had the same charge, they had the same lifetime even, but they're different in one tiny thing. Okay, and the one tiny thing is in how they decay. One of them decayed into two pions and the other one decayed into three pions. It's not important what pions are, the main point is pions carry a parity charge, okay? okay? And all of a sudden, you had two identical particles in every other aspect, but one of them had a different parity mm. possible resolution is that these are two very dis different particles. Okay. The other possible ability is that these two are the same particle. Parity is not conserved in this process. Okay. And all the stuff that we've talked about with electromagnetism, with gravity... Parity is conserved. conserved. But in this particular thing, that it is not. Okay. Okay. So the conservation of parity is not universal. Yes. 